so we have been uh, learning about determination of partial molar volume so we have derived the equation do x2 by dx2 by dn1 at constant n2 is equal to minus n2 by n1 plus n2 into my uh, 1 by n1 plus n2 uh, let this be equation 4 and now let's see what equation 3 is equation 3 is x2 is equal to n2 by n1 plus n2 so we have here minus n2 by n1 plus n2 so we can use 3 in 4 using 3 in 4 we have dx2 by dn1 at constant n2 is equal to minus of x2 into 1 by n1 plus n2 is minus of x2 divided by n1 plus n2. Okay, let this be equation number 5. Okay, so once we have this equation 5, what is the use of this equation? This is dx2 by dn1 at constant n2. This equation 5 can be used in equation 2 which also has dx2 by dn1. Here also we have dx2 by dn1 and this can be used, uh, equation 5 can be substituted in equation 2. So, substituting equation 5 in 2. Let us do it in the next slide dvm by dn1 dvm by dn1 is equal to is equal to dou vm by dou x2 into minus x2 by n1 plus n2 dou vm by dou vm by dou x2 into minus x2 by n1 plus n2 this we can rewrite as um, do dvm do vm by do n2 let let's keep n to a constant is equal to minus of x2 by n1 plus n2 into do vm by do x2 which will be at constant x1 okay let this be equation number 6. Okay. That is equation 6. So, what is the use of this equation? Do Vm by do N1. So, we have the equation. What is our equation 1? Our equation 1 is v bar 1 is equal to n1 plus n2 into dou vm by dou n1 plus vm. Here we have v bar 1. But what is that? Dou v by dou n1 at constant n2. Here also we have dou vm by dou n1. Dou vm by dou n1. Equation 1 here dou vm by dou n1. In equation 1, there is dou Vm by dou N1 and for that we can substitute equation 6. Substituting equation 6 in 1. What is equation 1? V bar 1 is equal to V bar 1 is equal to N1 plus N2 into N1 plus N2 into dou Vm by dou X1 that is minus X2 by n1 plus n2 into dou vm by dou x2 at constant x1 there is one more term and that is plus vm plus vm let's simplify here n1 and n2 gets cancelled so what is left is minus x2 into dou vm by dou x2 at constant x1 plus vm okay uh, let's rewrite this v bar 1 is equal to vm vm minus x2 into 
do v m by do x two at constant x one. Okay, this is the final equation that we get. Okay, v v one is equal to v m minus x two into d do v m by do x two at constant x. Okay. Now let's write this equation as an equation for a straight line for a for a curve. How can we write this? This is y is equal to m x plus c. The equation should be y is equal to m x plus c. So we have to have up uh, all the terms as positive. How will we write all the terms as positive? That can be done by taking the minus sign to the other side. So we can write. V m is equal to v bar one plus x two into do v m by do v m by do x two at constant x one. Okay, this is in terms of one component one. For component two, this equation will be v m is equal to v bar two plus x one into do v m by Do x one at constant x two. This is for x two, and this is for x one. So now we have two equations, uh, which are all representing, which both are representing the um, equations for a curve. Okay, a straight line curve. Okay, so when we experimentally Plot a graph between v m and x one. This is of the form y is equal to m x plus c. Here x corresponds to x one and y corresponds to v m. Okay, so if we are plotting a graph between v m and x one, v m and X one. Uh, what's the speciality of x one and x two? X one and x two are mole fractions, so that x one plus x two is equal to one, or x one is equal to one minus x two. That means if x one is increasing in this order, x two will be in this order. Here x one is zero. That means x two is one. Here x one is one, meaning x two is zero. And hence, these two graphs, these two plots, um, let it be A and B. These two uh, equations are representing the same graph, but at two ends. Okay. So if we are plotting a graph between x1 and Vm, what is Vm? The volume of the solution containing one mole of the two components. We'll get a curve like this. This is the type of curve that you get experimentally. Okay, this is the type of curve that you get experimentally. So, uh, in such a case, we have to draw a tangent, and this tangent will have intercepts, and at this intercept, it will be. Uh, uh, this is for uh, this curve is for zero. What is zero here? Uh, x one, x two is zero here, and hence x two is zero here. This will be of v bar one maximum v bar one partial molar volume of component one, and this will be partial vol molar volume of component two, and the slope will give you. What will what is slope? Slope will give you do m by do x one at constant x two. Okay. At each case, at each point, the point where uh, the plot touches uh, the tangent, the plot touches touches the tangent, you will get do v m by do x two. The slope will give you the value of do v m by do x one. But actually, we are Only interested in finding the partial molar volumes. The partial molar volumes can be 
uh, obtained as integer by from the plot of Vm against x1 and x2. Uh, I hope you have understood why x1 and x2 are plotted together. x1 and x2 being mole fractions, the total uh, value will be 1 and hence x1 will be 1 minus x2. So, if x1 is increasing, that means x2 is decreasing in the opposite or um, opposite side. Okay, that's why I have written it like this. This is the determination of partial molar volume by the method of intercept. This is mainly for two component system. Okay, for uh, multi component system, the equation is a little dif different.